A big part of curating content for a course involves finding the resources that will be used to support student learning. These resources might include textbooks, articles, videos, tutorials, and, and so on. As a developer, it is your job to identify the best possible resources and to determine how students should use those resources in the learning process. Depending on the nature of the learning resources, though, access to them can present barriers for some students. One of those barriers is cost. A textbook or other learning software can cost students hundreds of dollars. If we are able to remove barriers like textbook costs, more students will be able to access learning and participate in programs like Flex Forward. One of the goals associated with developing competency-based courses at Kirkwood is to try and minimize the cost for students. One way to do this is to use Open Educational Resources, or OERs. An OER is a freely accessible, openly licensed text, media, or other digital asset that is useful for teaching, learning, and assessing. OERs are essentially materials that students can access at no cost. OERs come in a variety of forms, ranging from textbooks to internet-based applications to homegrown materials. There are many benefits to using OERs. Not only does the use of OERs eliminate some costs for students, but the process of curating OERs can help a developer strategically identify and vet resources for supporting student learning. So what are some ways to incorporate open educational resources in your course? One option is to use an OER textbook. There are a variety of websites that offer access to full textbooks that are openly licensed. OpenStax and Lumen Learning are two websites that house libraries of textbooks that can be freely used by instructors and students. These websites include textbooks that range from psychology to statistics and from business to physics. OER's te textbooks serve as a great alternative to textbooks that students need to purchase. But just like any textbook, be sure to carefully determine how students should use the book. The basic tenets of content curation still apply. Another way to incorporate freely accessible materials into your course is to curate videos from places like YouTube and Khan Academy. There are many excellent video resources found on video sharing sites like YouTube. It takes some effort to find the best videos, but the students will benefit from having access to content through media that goes beyond reading materials. Internet-based resources are another place to incorporate OERs into your course. Simulations, Demonstrations, tutorials, applications, quiz tools, and so on can be great vehicles for helping students develop their content knowledge. Look for opportunities to use these types of resources in your course. Not only are many free to use, but internet-based resources also allow students to interact with content in novel ways as they build their knowledge and skills. Going out finding resources on the web is one way to make your course an OER course. Another way to guarantee that content is freely accessible and is truly aligned with the competencies for your course is to build your own homegrown materials. You are the content expert and you know your course better than anyone else. Creating your own resources is a great way to put your stamp on the content and to ensure that students are developing the necessary knowledge base and skills. As you think about the use of OERs in your course, remember that you have a lot of support here at Kirkwood to help you in the process of developing content. You already know about the curriculum development team and the instructional design team. Also know that the Kirkwood Library has staff members that are eager to help you find resources and integrate OERs into your course. The library has detailed information about OERs as well. Check out the Kirkwood Library LibGuide at the web address shown on the screen for more details about how to successfully find and incorporate OERs. As you prepare to curate content and build your course, think about how you could incorporate OERs. If you are able to make your course a fully OER course, the students will definitely appreciate the subsequent benefits. Although not every course may be able to com be completely open, incorporating as much open content as possible will help to make the course accessible to students and will result in a course that meets the various learning needs of students. 
Best of luck as you prepare to curate content for your course and explore the options associated with open educational resources.